नमस्ते ओम नमः शिवाय अ वेरी हैप्पी शिवरात्रि टू ऑल ऑफ यू शिवरात्रि इज अ वेरी वेरी ऑस्पेशियस डे फॉर ऑल ऑफ अस वंस इन अ ईयर वी सेलिब्रेट दिस महाशिवरात्रि बट इन द धार्मिक परंपरा इन द ट्रेडिशन वी हैव मास शिवरात्रि वी हैव द मंथली शिवरात्रि ऑब्जर्वेंस दैट इज एवरी कृष्ण पक्ष त्रयोदशी द थर्टीन डे ऑफ एवरी Uh, Krishna Paksha in the month is celebrated as Shivaratri, and this Shivaratri, which comes in the Madhya Masa, is very special and it's called Maha Shivaratri. It is called Vata Nam Uttam Uttamam. It is the best of all the Vratas. They say many of the Shiva Puranas, like Linga Purana, Shiva Purana, Shiva Maha Purana, Shiva Linga Purana, and many others, Padma Purana, in many places, and also in the living traditions, in the Sampradayas, in the Guru Sampradayas, in the Agamic Sampradayas, in many places, this Shivaratri. Shivaratri is specially acclaimed to be one of the most auspicious dates of all. We have this uh, tradition of Vrata, Vrunute Te Vrata. What is Vrata? It's a volition when we voluntarily pick up a discipline and impose it upon ourselves. We say, "I shall pra- practice celibacy. I shall practice fasting. I shall uh, fast today. I shall uh, pra- I shall not sleep today. I, I will practice jagaranam today, or I will give charity, dhanam. I'll do japa this whole day. I'll do tapa this whole day. I will um, be very pure today. I will not speak untruth today. I will never hurt anybody today. I'll practice total sa- mauna, silence today." So such many vratas are there. These vratas are very very old. In fact, as old as the Vedic times or even beyond. Uh, we see in the ramayana where shri rama himself meets many great ascetics many great vrata dharis in the aranya kanda we see where some people have devoted their lives to just seva 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 they are always helping somebody some people live in the yagna bhumi some people uh, stand neck deep in the waters and do japa all the time sajapa unmajaka some people are always doing japa 24 hours some others eat only uh, raw food some others eat only uh, leaves and uh, some green uh, vegetables and some others eat only fruits some others uh, drink only water for their uh, sustenance some people only live on pranayama that is breath some people live uh, or marichi pa they live on sun rays only and so on and uh, shri rama meets them all there are many such vratas mentioned in ramayana in mahabharata etc so of all these vratas Uh, some are vayaktika vratas some are personal vratas which we can pick up uh, individuals can pick up and do or couples can do together or a family can practice uh, in a guru parampara we practice so they are in some cults and some regions etc but this uh, mahashivaratri is a maha vrata which has a pan india Uh, identity today's india we have lost a lot of land to the invaders but you go back to the bigger india the akhanda bharata uh, which was very very expansive even in land so there we see lot even today we see the uh, evidences of how the uh, shivaradhana the linga puja was there and all these places we used to have shivaratri in very very grand scales so what is shivaratri about it is a vrata there are two things two types of festivals vrata and utsava vrata is total self discipline it is for atmodhara utsava is celebration dance music uh, processions and um, feasting and so on so shivaratri is majorly a vrata so uh, across bharata it is mainly a vrata so this comprises fasting and silence and japa tapa etc puja and mainly to keep awake uh, till the next morning like t- i we start today in the uh, uh, during sun sunrise until the next day sunrise it is shivaratri and even then we don't sleep we have to keep awake till the next night and then sleep so this is jagaran for us and uh, to keep awake we have different types of rituals if we are so uh, we have such a great uh, powerful mind we can we have this manobala we can practice total dhyana mauna we can just sit in silent meditation throughout the whole day but if you are not a trained tamed our mind to be so calm and so focused if we don't have the patience it then we can do uh, prathamam pratima puja prathama pratima puja so the first level we can start with doing rituals like puja uh, rudrabhishekha archana all these um japa stotra ani madhyama next is different types of japa and 
द जप ऑफ नम शिवाय और ओम नम शिवाय नम शिवाय इज पंचाक्षरी एंड ओम नम शिवाय इज षडाक्षरी ओम इज एडेड टू पंचाक्षरी इट बिकम्स षडाक्षरी एंड टू डू दिस ओम नम नम शिवाय दिस महामंत्र जप एंड टू डू द शिव सहस्र नाम पारायण भजन एक्सेट्रा दे आर ऑल्सो इन अदर मीन्स एंड एन अदर इज ऑफकोर्स ध्यान टू बी वन विद शिव भाव वी कैन हैव लॉट ऑफ अदर प्रोग्राम्स वी कैन हैव रुद्राभिषेक वी कैन वी कैन हैव रिलेंटलेस पूजा आचरण वी कैन डू दान वी कैन गिव चैरिटी वी कैन गो टू द टेम्पल्स वी कैन लिजन टू हरिकथा द स्टोरीज ऑफ शिव शिव भाग शैव भागवत वी कैन लिजन टू ऑल दैट एंड देन वी कैन पार्टिसिपेट इन भजन वी कैन गो टू डिफरेंट टेम्पल्स हैव दर्शन देर वी कैन पार्टिसिपेट इन द रथोत्सवास और द उत्सवास देर वी कैन डू सम वॉलेंट्री सर्विस kain karyam pada sevana it is not that we go just enjoy have prasad and come back we need to give our tanu mana dhana to the temple we have to we have to learn to first give before we take anything giving is the biggest way of getting because the more we give our physical tanu mana dhana to a great cause noble cause the more we expand the more of spiritual evolution and this expansion happens within us so shivaratri is a great day it's supposed to be very auspicious and all that we do on this day gives us thousand fold more benefits more spiritual benefits is what the parampara believes so on shivaratri we can spend the whole day in all these activities and uh, it's very important to keep awake in the night so at least on shivaratri let us avoid junk food going to the hotel eating junk things or just indulging in things uh, Uh, eating and going around wasting our time whiling our time gossip and fight and uh, smoking or drinks we can avoid all this and just keep focused upon japa and shiva nama we can test our own manobala by doing all this it's very important to be masters of our own indriyas this whole shivaratri vrata is about indriya jaya atma swamya to be a master of oneself to totally control the senses because the senses drag us out so much we become slaves of our senses and all the time we are we become beastly we are beastly and we are chasing some uh, some material pleasure all the time and uh, we think that is fun we think that is happiness but it ends up in some misery it takes us into some disease or some emptiness and by then our life span is over our ayushya has gone so let's be smart and understand that we have to conserve our mental energies that is why we have to control our antakarana manobuddhi ahankara chitta we have to control them focus them into the paramatman inside us and that is what shivaratri is about so according to our regional uh, styles according to our kula our family clan styles according to our respective guru kula uh, guru paramparas we can uh, practice this shivaratri most importantly it is important to fast and to keep awake we can train our little kids also to come and fast and uh, keep awake as much as possible if not completely we can start training them to say oh come on their kids let them enjoy let them sleep we are pampering them to become fools stupid who can never Uh, do even simple sacrifices these are nice beautiful rituals customs which help us to uh, overcome the weakness for food weakness for sleep it's very important to master ourselves so it's not about indulging all the time eating all the time uh, going from pani puri shop to pani puri shop all the time it is about also understanding who we are how much of mental strength we have so it's good for the body it's good for the health it's good for the mind we need to train our little kids also slowly slowly if not in a haste we can train them to uh, sit along with us participate in all this so let's form groups in our respective localities and uh, have some cultural events sit together and participate and meditate uh, sing and have some processions have some cultural programs have some beautiful pravachanas discussions etc and uh, try to uh, keep the focus on bhagavan uh, shiva all the day on shivaratri it's important that our children also understand the importance of such vratas so it's a very great vrata and uh, let's never miss out the significance of this vrata whatever we never did on the other days if this on this one day we practice shivaratri vrata 
they say the parampara says that we get all the benefits of all the other vratas on this one day there are many significances uh, of this shivaratri according to the puranas and the guru paramparas they say that this was the day on which shiva manifested as ardhanarishwara and his great feminine and masculine vaibhava glories manifested and the srishti yagna started on this day the creation started on this day there is also a, a traditional belief that it is on this day that shiva especially uh, Uh, more uh, uh, loving and caring his ashutosha always gives us uh, uh, boons very easily but his more all the more loving and caring and ready to give us uh, all the kinds of blessings much more than perhaps we could deserve and it's also a belief that some day in uh, the towards the end of this kalpa uh this is the day on which the pralaya will happen also so shiva will be dancing on this shivaratri he is always dancing he is nataraja he is dancing in every particle he is a chaitanya in every particle in creation but on shivaratri that manifestation becomes more explicit and we can feel that we can connect to that so it is like an open day we have in the iisc campus where everybody can come the commoners can come and see the scientific uh, things uh, activities there similarly this is a special day when we can connect to the higher energies the uh, shiva bhagavan uh, it's very meaningful so let's practice this with a lot of understanding of what it is and it's one of the greatest of vratas and um, as per our traditions as per our regional traditions or family traditions but in some other other way let's practice shiva uh, shivaratri let us let us observe sh- uh, shivaratri and um, there's also one very interesting uh, folk uh, custom which is to this date followed in many parts of bharat that is shiva bhava vesha dharana so when we come together in communities and gather together for bhajans or puja or homa uh, all these uh, people come together and dress in the guise of shiva they wear the rudraksha mala and the jata jota and the gaja charma all uh, kind of uh, costumes and they all appear like shiva ganas and shivas and they hold the shiva and the damaru and the trishula and dance in ecstasy to forget our prejudices to keep aside our prejudices and all these to become totally like children to become open to open up our heart to paramatma is very important and dance and music and bhajans and kirtan and all these activities together community activities do help us to become like children pure at heart and purity is our strength and where there is purity and focus we understand the subtle truths and that is exactly what shivaratri is about let us practice this very great auspicious shivaratri mahavrata and get the blessings of shiva with these words i wish you all a very very happy shivaratri once again namaste om namah shivaya